I want to ask you about this. You tweeted this, a still. This is about Alexa. I think we have it. Uh, oh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on here? Did you, know. did you buy Alexa? No, I don't know why people would voluntarily bug your own house. Like, do you think you're the only one listening in on that? You never saw weird science, how creepy these nerds are? All these cameras on your phone, all of that. The people go on Ancestry.com. Why would you send your saliva into the internet? Why would you do that? Why don't you just go to the Illuminati and help them build your robot replacement? <laughs> you know, they're, they're already... <laughs> no, a part of me dies every time I go into a store and I see something, they go, can we get a phone number? Watching somebody give them the phone number, why would you do that? Yeah. I always give the same, I, mine is all area codes. They go, what's your phone number? I'm like, 323-818-2125. <laughs> Dude, it's literally... It's tough times it's, no, right now. As a comedian, yeah, it's like the walls. It's like you're in this walk-in closet of what could be funny. God forbid you tease the Navy a little bit and people have, like, like a conniption. Well, what did you say about the military that got people so mad? Or this one guy so I was mad? just saying, like, yeah, the guy who flies the fighter jet, okay, and has missiles shot at him, that guy's a hero. However, if you're the guy that, like, points in the direction that the plane takes off in... <laughs> you know what I mean? We're, we're kind of... We're kind of watering down what is heroic behavior. You don't think that guy, the guy who points in the direction is... Yeah, the is... guy doing Warrior One, like the yoga pose? <laughs> like, the battlefield is that way. <laughs> no, but everything has just become that. It's just become like this, right. like, uh, this, you know, that whole first responder thing, you know, all these, like, code words you have to say. It's so stupid. I'm a first responder. I love that one. It's like, dude, I called you. I saw the fire. <laughs> like, what am I? What do you have, like, ESP? We just want to thank our first responders and just everything has just become... Ugh, uh, uh. It's nice to be here. You know what? I actually have the same dream about the, uh, somebody coming into my house. This happens a lot, actually, where I'll be just falling asleep and I'll think... I'll run through an entire scenario of a home invasion. And I don't have any kind of weapon in my house. So you want to go with the 22 caliber, right? <laughs> Perfect gun to shoot in the house. It's a low caliber gun. You can't really kill anybody from a distance, you know? So if they take a hostage, you can just start shooting at them. Just, Perfect. Just let it go. It's just good to know. Yeah. So no, you... when I'm on the road, I talk about getting a 22. Everybody makes fun of me. You know, because, you know, it's that guy thing. Like, oh, what, are you going to shoot a squirrel? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what, your little, you know, little gun? But if you're in a house, that, that's what you want. A little 22, you know? I'm basically teaching you guys how to kill somebody, I think. So it's a 22 you think is superior to the uh, well, you don't uh, want to get part like of a... a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to have like a 44 Magnum. It's like you're going to shoot through the guy, through the wall, blow your dog's brains out, and like drop the engine out of your car. It's just way too much. You just 22. get like a little 22. You can still hear. If you miss, right? No, I shot a 38 one time with no hearing, with no no hearing protection. Yeah. I was doing landscaping for this guy, and all of a sudden he was like, "Oh yeah, that that there follows." Was some yeah. Sound that needed killing. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, "I got this five shot 38. I never shot it. It was the 80s." So you're like, "Yeah, why not? There's Wait no laws. You can't 80s? explain anything by just saying, oh, it was the 80s." Yeah, you could just. Why did you do that? It was the 80s. Yeah, it was. We went down the street. that somebody burned a car for insurance. So. We were shooting at that, and after the first shot, I couldn't hear anything, and I never forgot that. So if you're in the house and you miss, now you can't hear, you're blinded by the muzzle flash, this guy's coming around your bed with a sickle, and you're shooting the wrong way. Sickle. 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 He's got a sickle? A sickle. Is he harvesting no, wheat? I, I, What's he doing? I, 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 What's well, he doing in your house? No, I, a I, sickle. I honestly, as you get older, you think about safety, and I, I, I totally relate to that. Yeah. When you're home alone, it's just that feeling. Yeah. It's just you're the only person there. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're what's for dinner. If somebody comes in, <laughs> it's on you. That's why I never was comfortable in a motel. What? Because you're just laying in this bed, like, two feet from a door any, that just opens up into the parking lot. Any guy can come in. <laughs> And you're just not ready to have a fight to the death. You're just laying there. <laughs> you, know, da -da 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 -da. you turn the chair, this guy comes in. So, 
be honest, I'm never ready to have a fight to the death. It's not, it's if not like in a motel. motel. You if, think in a motel, it's like that's, you're particularly vulnerable. In a motel, you should, you know, just drive by a motel and just look at it. You're just looking at those doors, like there's just people in there just laying on beds, like half naked, you know? Just laying there. And Anybody, the door is like that thick. It's barely. You could, you could put your foot right through it. He's gonna be like that. That's it. Last thing you're gonna what? see is just. You're going to be looking back at your own body okay. like upside down. <laughs> You're crazy. Look at... <laughs> so you people think... grow. You don't remember when you were a kid, you went into the club, and there was that older person hanging out? That creep? <laughs> yeah, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. 50's not the new 40. It's 50. I am 50. <laughs> All right? I have to go see doctors. Yeah. I have to have blood taken. So I feel, I feel young physically. But mentally, like, when I watch TV, it makes me feel old. What makes you feel what? old about watching TV? Ah, uh, there's, well, music, there's no guitar solos anymore. <laughs> and then for some reason, with all this technology, millennials, if you take a full water bottle and you flip it in the air and it lands upright, <laughs> they run out of the room like they just saw a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, oh! They just, they just take off. It's like, really? You had virtual reality glasses on? You're playing all these video games and all somebody has to do? I mean, that's like a game like Tom Sawyer would have played. <laughs> <laughs> so it's stuff like that that I'm uh -huh. just like, I'm not, I'm not ridiculing it. It's just like, wow, I, I can't relate to this. You can't. <laughs> no, like the roles were defined back then. Now the guy has to throw the milk, he has to clean it up while telling his wife she's brave for just sitting there. Like, whatever that is. Can you hear it? Oh, oh, oh I know. <laughs> Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from... Wait, 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 wait. We, them ...to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women. It's like all of them? <laughs> how about, how about 85%? I'll give you 87%, <laughs> all right? But that last 13% that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, and puts a family pet in a, in a pot of stew? <laughs> Who put a pet in a pot of stew? Glenn Close. Oh, Glenn that, Close, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, okay, all right. I think I it was a separately say, boiled. You know what I'm, I miss? I miss, yeah, tougher parenting and evidence. Those are the things that I miss from my childhood. Evidence? Yeah. You mean Due people... Due process. Right. Somebody says something happened, and then someone else goes, well, I said it happened this way, like the old gumshoe shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. Yeah, that doesn't exist now on, on social media. It's just, right. like, it's just frontier justice. Right. You feel how nervous everybody just got in here, the fact that I just suggested that there should be due process? <laughs> this guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just join ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This, is, this is what it is. Yes, no, what I'm saying. Yes, I enjoy it, but I still, you know, the bane of my existence is I let little things bother me. Downloading new operating systems will just, you know, I bring a lot of tension into the house, according to my wife. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I've noticed, we're, we're always working on me, you know? <laughs> Like, my wife is evidently some completed work, like, under museum glass, and I'm like that <laughs> building that has scaffolding around it for, like, seven years. Oh, probably you not. You took journalism. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> what about... <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of nerds interrupting people who know what they're doing. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. No, I don't like that. I don't like when journalists go into a war area and yeah. they put on a helmet and their stupid vest, uh, turn it out here. The war's in the back. So you think journalists shouldn't wear helmets and vests? No, either join the army or get out of there. <laughs> get out, you're not, you're not gonna see anything that they don't want you to see. You know they got a drone right outside the, the, the camera thing. If the yeah. guy does anything, they're gonna yeah. take him out. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm actually, I'm excited for the Pirates and uh, the Orioles, just because they haven't been in it for a while. But I don't know, baseball, you know, it's not quite the way it used to be. I don't like that whole thing, like when you go to a game, if you catch a foul ball, you gotta like give it to a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No what? wonder, no. What are you talking about? That's why kids are all mushy and fat. They don't have to, <laughs> they don't gotta work for anything.
<laughs> First of all, I don't like when I was a kid, I had to fight adults to try and get one, and I never got one. And they'd box me out, and that was totally acceptable in the 70s and 80s. Yes, So that's now true. I gotta sit there, take a line shot to my hand, have that swollen up, and then I, oh, give it to a kid. No. <laughs> Do you know how many times a week people say to me, why are you yelling? <laughs> and I never feel like I am. Like, this right here is not yelling to me. It's just, you know, I'm passionate about my opinions and I want you to hear all of them before you get to talk again. That's basically it. It's not anger. Why are you yelling? You're stop yelling. I'm not yelling. I got another couple of octaves. I can fucking... That was brutal. I don't want to be this guy, you know? I'm halfway through my life at this age, you know, and I've been an angry son of a bitch, and I gotta turn this around, man. I'm embarrassed with my be- I don't want to be that guy! No. You know what my big move was to- Actually, I'm, I'm a lot happier than I used to be, man. I fuck around a lot when I'm up here, but I'm, I'm definitely a lot more happier. My big move, you know, I decided I wasn't gonna go home for the holidays. That was a big thing. I had to. There you go, one guy right there. Yeah. I had to. I don't know what age you decided not to, but I went home at 39, not married, no kids, and I was just like, there is no way I am going home at 40. There's no way. There's no way. People are already like asking questions. They just look at you weird, just like. So you're just, you're just gonna tell jokes, you know? Make fun of people who like cake? Is, is that what you're gonna do? You know, I live in a cul-de-sac and have a couple of kids and gradually resent everyone and then take your own life. You know how I do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I would love to be married. Like, in my head, it all makes sense. Like, I, you know, I don't know what happened, but it just it scares me when I see married guys. I just get, like, nervous, man. I'm just going to be like that stereotypical married guy, you know? Just like a shell of my former self. <laughs> You know, every weekend up on that silver ladder, just scooping shit out of the gutters. <laughs> My neighbor coming over, you know. Hey, Bill, how's it going? I know, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Susie keeps getting bigger, you know. I've been wearing this shirt for 11 years. I don't know what happened to my dreams, you know. I just like coming up here because it's quiet. You know, I just stand up here, think about what might have been, yeah. I don't, I don't get DJs. What? They're like, I don't understand DJs. Like, they're getting Grammys. I'm at that age, like, the new music, I don't understand it. It just, to me, it's just a guy playing his iPod with, like, a mouse head, <laughs> right? And everybody's losing their mind. Like, I don't, I don't see where the talent is. <laughs> they blended the song, man. They took two s songs and blended them. Yeah, so you're not liking that. Well, what, the, all you gotta do is find two songs of the same tempo, right? <laughs> I'm convinced. That's like you're driving down the street on the highway and you see another guy going as fast as you and you're like, how's he doing it? <laughs> Yours can go 57 too? That's, that's incredible. <laughs> no, you know what I like was when you go into these places, right? Even when they're getting your money, like, they, they, that's not enough for them. They, they want to suck, like, more information out of you. When I bought toiletries the other day, they asked me for, like, my phone number. I'm ringing it up. They go, can we have your phone number? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Siri, we're not going to do anything with this. <laughs> really? You're just collecting numbers just for the fuck of it, you idiot? <laughs> no, you can't have my phone number. Then they get, like, all freaked out, right? Well, Sarah, I, I have to put something in. If I, don't, if I don't input something in, I can't get to the next... What, what, what do I do? Well, fucking lean on the keyboard, sweetheart. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Stick your finger on the one. There you go. That's my phone number, 125639. That's it. <laughs> Live in area code 123. Very exclusive neighborhood. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. You have our little savey, say, fucky, fuck card? No. No, I know. <laughs> Would you like one? No, I wouldn't. Well, why not? Because you're up to something. I don't know what you're up to, but I know you don't want to make less money, all right? Stop fucking with me. Just ring this up and let me get on with my life. I, I wouldn't encourage going back and forth with fans. I would say 13% of people on the internet are cool. The rest of them, they're, ju they're just a bunch of animals. Why would you want to? Why would you want to talk to them? Wait, you're saying only 13% of people are, are are cool? 13% are cool. The other 87% are writing horrific stuff under YouTube videos. 
They're, they're, they're assholes. Yeah. <laughs> they are. And I'm, I don't know why. They're not going to give you one. I can say that because there's nothing you can take away from me. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? You're going to say, I can't do stand-up in strip malls anymore? That's, that's, usually, that's usually the punishment. So the genius... No, I got it all worked up. You're, you're, I want to go on other people's shows. Yeah. It's like when your buddy owns a boat. Yeah. You don't want to be the guy who owns the boat. You're you want right. to be the guy who shows up with the 12-pack, gets the high five, you go fishing, and then when it's over... I don't know, you know what the worst things are? Those automated machines. You guys have those out here? Those automated checkout machines? You know? It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe it the first time I walked into a supermarket and I saw that. I was like, this is ridiculous. Here it is, I thought I was a comedian. Evidently, I also work in a grocery store. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I forgot my apron. God damn it, was I working tonight? Ah, I should have checked the schedule. Dude, do you realize the balls of that? The balls of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a store. You come in, you pick out what you want, you bring it up, you ring it up, you pay me, you put it in a bag, and then you get the fuck out of my store, all right? Let's go, people, step it up. I'm trying to run a business here. Dude, if that is the future, if there's gonna be no employees at a grocery store, I'm never paying for food again. I'll be hooking up my friends, like rolling hams out the front door. I wanna steal now, I just don't have the nerve. I just wanna fill up a whole grocery cart full of food, right? Just walk up to one of those automated machines. You count five Mississippi, eh, guess they don't wanna get paid. They just start walking out. Sir, you have to bring that back. No, I don't. What, are you gonna cut my hours? I don't work here. I did my job. I picked out what I wanted. I brought it up. I was going to pay you, but you weren't there, so I fucking left. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. How's it going? Great. It's nice to be here. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. Let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? I mean, three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? If you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't gonna open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. You'd be like, I don't like those odds. I have a 75% chance of splatting on the ground. But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it, right? They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome. <laughs> This is gonna be great. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I love women. I'm just not compatible with them. <laughs> no, they got too much energy for me. You notice that's it, they always have to be doing something. You know, like they can't like take a day off, you know? You can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day, they're like, oh my God, let's fucking fill it up with shit. <laughs> They just come at you with like one horrible idea after another. They have the worst ideas. They do, you ever get to this one, they'll be like, you wanna go to brunch? You wanna go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no! But you can't say that, you gotta keep her happy, right? So what do you do, you agree? Yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $52 for eggs? Now you're thinking. <laughs> then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, you know, like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. I was dating this girl recently. She was like really into like women's issues, you know? Cause women always go on TV, you know, they say all they want is be treated exactly like guys. But if you listen to them, they don't. All they want is the good shit of being a guy. They're cherry picking. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, fuck that. You can keep that one, I don't like that one. This is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. Come on, people, you can't choose. 